sun is out, so I'm getting a little bit of sun, but uh, well, you'll see. There's like a lot of shade. The sun's behind me, so. Um, but these birds, they're coming right up to me, and I think it's because I have food. I'm so ready to eat. Oh, I'm so hungry. So I'm gonna do that now. designated as a nude beach and there are signs up saying you might see you know nude sunbathers I have not seen any and I'm really happy about that but there's a part of me that's kind of disappointed as you can imagine um, it's an odd paradox You know, it's probably the best. <laughs> I haven't seen anybody um, without clothes, honestly. Probably because it is kind of chilly. Time to walk the beach. I'm gonna look for something to commemorate my solo adventure. I usually do. I don't know what to pick though. Maybe this feather. Hopefully I find something interesting.
place is called Edie Creek. So I'm gonna check it out, see what the big deal is. Looks like it's just another beach access. Not that much different, but it does seem a little nicer with the sand and there's some more open space. So it's probably just a popular place a more popular place than where I was. But it's not super busy. Some people, but it's pretty nice. I picked up a bird feather. Part of me is kind of grossed out by that. I don't know why, but I also kind of feel like this trip is very bird themed. So I should have something that marks that occasion in my collection. I don't know, it seemed appropriate. like if an alien were to come down to earth and see a lot of humans and then find a clump of hair on the ground and say I think I'll keep this you know I think that's my cue to turn around go back home. It's very unfortunate. But that's life, I guess. A little bit of beauty and a little bit of pain. Just focus on the beauty. pretty much does it. Overall, I think it was a very good day. I did a lot. I got my independence. I successfully navigated myself out of uncertainty. Why do I say it like that? Uncertainty? It's like I enunciate everything. I made some friends. I got to see nature, it was beautiful. I got some sun on my legs. I picked up some souvenirs. I tried something new, some new food. And yeah, I had a great day. So I guess I'm gonna pass on the torch to you and challenge you to go out on your own and have a little solo adventure and see what happens. I think I may do this more often. Um, try something new, some place I've never been. It's crazy I've never been to this place. At least, I don't think I have. Um, maybe my parents brought me here when I was little, but I'm not sure. I don't remember it. Um, but it's definitely new for me alone, on my own. Being on your own is like a whole different, it's a whole different vibe, you know? You kind of just go where your intuition <laughs> sends you. I guess that's the theme of this, this whole video. Follow your intuition. Just pick a day, pick a place, be somewhat prepared, somewhat um, mapped out, but don't don't be too rigid on your schedule or your agenda, and just see see where the wind takes you. That is so lame, Lisa. I mean, ugh, that is so lame. But you know what I mean. Just try it out. Do your own thing. Um, anyway, 
going to head home now. I'm about an hour away from home, which isn't that far. And that's why it shocks me that I've never been here. But, um, yeah. See you later.